Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the upsert pass JSON module workaround in a scenario. First, let me explain the purpose of this workaround. Here's a scenario that watches for bookings in beds 24 and searches for the contact in zero. If the contact exists, the invoice is created, downloaded and emailed to the customer. But if the contact does not exist, a new contact will be created first, then the invoice creation, download and the email follows. So the only difference between these routes is that the bottom route contains a created contact module and the rest are repeated. By using the upsert workaround, you won't need to repeat the modules on the routes, which saves you time remapping them and also saves you some operations. Now here's the same scenario with the upsert pass JSON module and an error handler. Let me explain to you how this works. Instead of manually adding bookings in beds 24 to retrieve data, I'm going to keep things simple for this demo and use the past JSON as a source of data. The data that I'll use for a contact are email, name and last name. In the zero search for contacts module, I'll map the email element in the condition field so that it searches for the email address which is unique to the contact. Next, I've used the create JSON module since it's easier to work with fields instead of raw JSON structures. So now I need to create the data structure that will store the contact ID of the record. For the specification, I'll name it ID and the type is text. So now this ID field is created and I've mapped the contact ID outputted by the zero module. Now in the upsert module, I selected the same data structure used in the previous module and I'm using a function to check if the contact ID has been returned by the search for contacts module or not. If the contact ID exists, the JSON string created in the previous module is returned. If not, an empty string is returned. The reason for returning an empty string is to throw an error when an ID doesn't exist, which can then be handled on this route. The transparent link tells you that it is an error handler route. So if a contact ID is returned by the search for contacts module, the bundle will continue on the top route where the invoice will be created, downloaded and emailed. If the ID is not returned, the bundle will continue down this route where the contact will be created in this module here. I've simply mapped the name, last name and email address elements outputted by the source module. Next is the resume module and here I mapped the newly created contact ID. So the resume module returns the missing ID back to this route and the upsert module now outputs the JSON string and the bundle continues on the top route as it should. I'll execute the scenario with contact details that don't exist yet in zero. Here you can see that this module retrieved the details of the contact. Here it shows that the contact didn't exist and the output is null for the ID value. Since the contact ID didn't exist, the error was handled which means the contact was created and the ID was returned by the resume module to this flow. Here you can see the ID that was provided by the resume module. And the invoice was created for this contact, downloaded and emailed. So I'll execute the scenario again using the same contact details. So since the contact details already exist, the search for contacts module returned the contact, the bundle continued on the top route, and the invoice was created and sent immediately. And that's the function of the upsert module. For advanced users, you don't need to use a create JSON module, so let's delete it. And remove this. Now I'll use the JSON row structure here and map the contact ID. This works the same as the previous setup, but you will save on one operation. So this workaround will assist you when creating your advanced scenarios by removing the need to repeat modules and also save some operations. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy automating.